friends. Okay, so we are gonna do like, normally I just kind of chat with you guys while I do my makeup, but I'm gonna do like a lot of teaching today. I'm gonna show you truthfully how to contour, where to contour, why it's important, all of that jazz, um, highlight, that kind of thing. So um, if you are new to my page, my name is Kayla Gibson and I am an elementary teacher turned makeup teacher and this is my full-time job. So I teach really easy makeup for the everyday gal. You don't have to have expert skills. This is like the makeup I teach is super easy. So if you jump on, tell me where you're watching from. I always love to know if you are new to my page as well. Sorry, I'm looking for my lip products, getting a little dry. Hi, you guys, hello. If at any time you want a color match to the makeup I'm gonna show you or the other products I'm using, just say match 29, one word, and I will send you those things. And that link will also include a link to my beauty group. So, um, first of all, uh, just ordered again today. Can't thank you enough. You're welcome. Hello from Canada and Ohio and Boston. I'm going to Boston in a couple months. I'm so excited. Texas. Okay. So hi from Sp in Spokane. You're only a few hours from me. Love it. Okay. So you guys, this is the makeup I've been using and loving for like three and a half years. It truly is one of the easiest makeups that I've ever been able to teach other customers because a lot of my customers, a lot of my followers aren't big makeup gurus like I am, right? I, I grew up loving makeup. I, I was a tomboy, but I had a full face of makeup on. Um, best makeup ever and you have everything. Yes, I love it. So this is what we're gonna work with today, okay? So there is a way to get discounted palettes where you can save like 20 to almost $60. So that is a way to do that. I also send you a custom color match. You do not have to get everything that I custom color match you to, but I'm going to show you the things you should get and you definitely want at least one brush. Hi, Kevin from California, hello. Okay, so this is Saint One Compact. The whole point of it is that it does most of your face without you having to um, to use anything else besides mascara. Now I am a I am I am a makeup girly, so I do use a couple other products, and I'm going to show you those. <coughs> okay, I'm going to use this tinted moisturizer. Um, it has SPF in it, and honestly, I just really love it, and I wear it by itself a lot. Um, we don't ship to the UK yet, but we um, are going. We're supposed to this year. So if you want to get on my wait list for that. Just message me and I can send you the form for that. And I also have one in my bio too. Like I think it's like a, there's a UK and Australia wait list at the bottom in Mexico. Okay, so this tinted moisturizer, you can also get this tinted moisturizer with the match 29 keyword and I'll send it to you too. I just love it. it. It evens out all my redness. You don't have to have a tinted moisturizer in order to use this makeup. Hi, you guys. Yes, tell me where you're watching from and tell me if you're new. I love just like saying hello to all my new people. But like, look how good of coverage that is. Um, I just like using this for extra hydration and just a little bit extra um, evening out. I do not use it always under my Saint makeup, but it is just, it's it pairs so beautifully with it. So, hi from Tennessee, hello. So this tinted moisturizer, it's actually kind of like an Ilia dupe. Um, a lot of people say, well, is it necessary? Do you have to use it under Saint? No, absolutely not. I've always used some kind of something under my makeup, um, whether it be BB cream or tinted moisturizer. I just I just like to do that because then my makeup has to work a little less hard and I already have my SPF on. So it's like a two for one. Okay, so we're going to break this down. Is the brand match 20? No, 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 that's just the keyword. Hi, Marcy from Washington. Um, match the key, match 29 is going to give you a color match request form for this makeup I'm going to show you. It's also going to give you a list of the other products I'm going to use and then a link to my beauty group. Okay, so hi Misty. Here is the One Compact palette. It's really cool. It comes in, I'm going to use, um, I think the brush that most people get, but, um, it comes in this in these little tins. They look really tiny, but they're like tiny but mighty. Okay, I promise you, tiny but mighty. Um, and um, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. Um, anyway, they last forever. They last so stinking long. So even though you hit pan right here, you have so much left, and they just pop into this magnetic palette that you get. So I'm gonna start with this dark color called contour. So I'm gonna do a lot of teaching today, you guys. So normally I like to like chat with you about what's going on in my life. Like my dog has vaccine appointments today for, you know, his, I don't know, rabies shot or something. I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to just do a lot of teaching. So a lot of people get really scared by this dark color right here called our contour. And the colors in the palette 
do look pretty scary both online and in the palette but as you can see when I blend it out in just a minute it's not going to be as scary so the areas I am contouring is my hairline okay if you have a larger forehead and you want it to look a little bit smaller you are going to bring your contour down just a little bit more okay if you are older more mature or maybe you just have a really slender face and you want this area to look a little bit more plump do not contour your temples um, I don't have that issue so I don't mind going down and contouring my temples but I'm keeping this close to my hairline and I'm just doing like a tapping motion so you just do like a lot of stamping and tapping and I want you to look at that that was not crazy that was not hard um, the other area you are going to contour is right underneath your cheekbones. So here are my cheekbones and you could go right underneath. I do go a little bit on top just because by the time you blend your contour, it is in that kind of cheekbone area. If you are more mature or you're like noticing your gravity is working against you, you could hold your contour a little bit higher and it's going to give you a more lifted effect. So if you are, if you guys are new, say hello join in and again um when you do get color batched by me and you become one of my customers you get this instruction and you get access to my business number where you get to ask questions okay so i just blended that out by doing a bunch of tapping the biggest mistake i see people make is they do a bunch of swirling or over blending to where their contour disappears with cream any any kind of cream makeup you should not have to be blending that much, okay? Creams are meant to be placed and just diffused out. Like the color just needs to diffuse out. Hi, you guys. Um, so that's really how creams work. And all the, um, any kind of ex like extra that I had on there, I'm just going underneath my jawline and I'm just dragging that contour down. Now, if you have jowls, okay? I have a little bit of them and people try to tell me I don't. And I'm like, okay, no, they're right, right, right there. Um, they're just a little different. It's like more like double chin action. A way you could um, contour this is instead of coming underneath the jowl, you would just kind of make that line right above it, okay? So the whole point of contour is to create that shadow, and you can already see that that is a little bit more sh shaded now, okay? So it looks like less of a double chin. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go right here. And I'm just going to focus right on that jowl area. So if you have like really heavy jowls, if you have really like long um, jowls, you will just go kind of right above. So you are just creating an illusion that you don't have any. Okay. So that is your contour for the most part. We are going to contour our nose in a minute, but I actually like to do that last. So now I have some areas I don't have any makeup on. Okay. So I have my tinted moisturizer, obviously, but all of these areas around my contour don't have any makeup and so I'm going to kind of like plug those colors in. I'm going to take this lighter shade. When I color match you, I color match you to a main highlight which is your foundation and a brightening highlight which is your concealer color is what we would think of in traditional makeup world. I'm going to go into this lighter shade and um, like I said you do want to get at least one brush. Um, I personally like like when I send you your email I do tell you what brushes I prefer this is the 3d brush I use this mostly to show you guys because these are the ones that come in two of the collections that are discounted so I'm just going on the inner corners of my eyes I am not going to pull a bunch of makeup right here because this is typically where we have a lot of wrinkles a lot of texture and when we add too much brightness there that is where we're going to enhance and accentuate that texture okay so I'm just giving myself a facelift by tapping this brightening shade out towards my temple and I'll show you what I'll do right here because a lot of people say, okay, well, um, make sure you guys say match 29 is one word. Um, I think that that's what's going to trigger my, my little, my little system. Okay. So a lot of people say, well, I don't, I don't want to accentuate my wrinkles, but I have areas underneath my eyes I need to conceal. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to take that bright color again, and I am just going to try to enhance the center part of my face. I'm drawing attention to it and bringing it forward. This is what we kind of do um, to bring light to our faces. So bright brings out, contour takes it back, okay? Darkness takes it back. So I'm pulling these um, parts and these features of my face forward, okay? I have not blended this yet. But I, I'm not going to blend it yet because I, I want you to see this. So I have no color here. 
I have no color all right here and I don't need a whole lot because I did use that tinted moisturizer which did such a good job anyway. But I'm gonna take that same brush, yeah, you guys, you can use the exact same brush and I'm gonna tap into my main highlight. My main highlight, remember, is my foundation color. You do not need a lot. Like when I'm tapping, I'm like tap, tap. Like I'm barely getting any on my brush. And the biggest mistake I made when I first started, and you guys are welcome to ask questions too. My biggest mistake I, I did when I first started is I used way too much because I was used to using liquid every single day. So, hi you guys! Okay, I'm tapping here. Now, I don't have any color here or here. So, that's where I'm going to focus some of it. And I'm just kind of barely airbrushing it on, just lightly dusting. Okay, I'm just trying to place it where I need it. And I know this method feels really intimidating for some, but I actually um, teach you guys a really easy way to start until you get the hang of this method right here. Um, the method that I'm showing you is because this is the way to wear the least amount of makeup, okay? Is cream okay for older skin? Cream is literally the best for older skin. If you have older, more mature skin, you should absolutely be, be using creams. Um, yes, anyone honestly over the age of 30, I would really suggest switching to it. And the cool thing about our creams is there are simple ingredients in it. so. There is not, not like a bunch of stuff that's going to age your face, okay? A lot of the makeup that I was using back in the day was aging my face based on the ingredients, and you can totally look that up. Okay, so now I have these colors all placed. My contour is mostly blended out, but I am going to start by blending my brightest shades, okay? And I'm still going in with that tapping motion. I'm not doing a bunch of swirling. You do not need to do that, okay? So I'm just like tapping, stamping, dabbing however you want to explain it or think of it that is how you're going to blend your colors my tins of product are really hard is there anything i can do to soften them yes so if you if they're really hard i would just like hit them with a blow dryer really quick um any of my creams or like any of my creams no matter what brand um do that if it's a little chilly in my house okay so now i'm going to i have all those other colors right okay that main highlight color I'm just gonna tap that color in. And I'm just kind of tapping it into the contour so it like blends really seamlessly. You guys see that? It's not, I mean, you don't have to be doing a bunch of swirling. Um, like I said, one of my girlfriends, she used to come up to me and she's like, I just don't understand what I'm doing wrong. My face just ends up being one color. And I was like, okay, well show me how you blend. Well, she was just swirling everything together. And while I know some people on the internet do do that, I have like seen other saint artists like just kind of swirl everything together. That's totally fine. That's just really not, that's not going to give you the definition that I'm showing you right now. So this method I'm showing you, this is how you get definition with using the least amount of makeup. I do not have a lot of makeup on right now. Um, now some people use a lot less than I do. I, I do probably like a medium face. Okay, so I'm gonna tap in now. Uh, to my main highlight and remember how I said that you might have some discoloration underneath your eyes that you want to get rid of that color you can use your main highlight to tap right in that center area okay because you're not going to need a lot it's not going to enhance your your texture and all that stuff okay so now that I have that blended I'm going to tap with my finger and I'm going to contour my nose you can use a brush um but I find sometimes using the finger just kind of can, what's the word, control it a little bit more. And then the extra, I'm gonna come right underneath my lip just to give it like a little bit of a shadow, okay? It helps it look a little bit more plump. So if you have a wider nose and you want it to look more slender, you're going to keep your contour closer together, okay? Like I just did. If you want your, like if you have a um, slender nose and you want it to look wider, you're gonna keep your contour stripes a little further out. So you're contouring based on the shape of your nose. Okay, so now what we also have, hello you guys, um, is a lip and cheek. So these um, really fun colors take place of your lipstick um, and your blush or your lip gloss. I'm going to show you this color Hollywood, this is a staple. This does come in the collection three, I believe. And I'm just going to tap it right here. And yes, with the same brush, where is my napkin? My napkin. I am going to tap that color in. Now look, I don't have to do a bunch of swirling. I'm literally tapping it in. Your blush should be the easiest thing to blend in because that's all you have to do, okay? So I'm tapping it here. And I'm hoping everything looks blended because I am just using my phone. 
and then I'm bringing a little bit down on my cheeks. Okay, so this is how I'm doing that. And this one color can also go right on your lips. Now you can get away with just these four colors. It's the most budget friendly option. You can use your contour as your eyeshadow. You can use your lip and cheek as your eyeshadow, whatever you wanna do there. This is your most budget friendly option. It comes with the brush and your four colors, okay? But of course we do have bronzer, which I love. Um, and then we have like other lip and cheeks. So when I send you your color match, you do not have to get the lip and cheek that I suggest for you. You can get whatever you want. The only things that I would definitely get that I suggest would be your highlight color, so your foundation and concealer, and your contour. Everything else you can choose on your own. Okay, um, so I just added a little bit of like lip gloss. Um, here is the bronzer. Our bronzers are really, really great. If you are someone who loves liquid foundation and you just cannot give it up, um, but you're like, ah, but I need something else that doesn't look chalky for a bronzer, do our cream bronzer. You can use a cream bronzer over the top of liquid foundation. I do have a lot of um, customers who use liquid foundation because they just really like it and then use everything else from Saint. So you can totally do that. It goes beautifully over BB cream, goes beautifully over tinted moisturizer, uh, liquid foundation. So if I color match you, but you love your liquid foundation, just get the brightening highlight contour and lip and cheeks and then the like bronzers. Okay, so this is literally it. It takes me three to five minutes to do my makeup almost every single day. Um, I do use a little bit, like use a little eye pencil right here. Not eye pencil, eyebrow pencil. And then mascara. And this mascara that I use is not up here because I had to get partially ready downstairs. Okay, so anyway, the, the mascara I use, it is so good. It's called False Lashes. Um, I either use that or City Beauty. And it's just really good. So um, now we do have a setting powder. It's called Vanilla Dust. I don't typically use it. Um, I prefer a loose powder, which again is not up here. Cool. Kayla, you were just really prepared. Um, it is so amazing. So if you say match 29, I'll send that to you too. It is the Celeste finishing powder. It is so good. And I have a lot of mature clients that use it and that's because it's really finely milled. So, okay, you guys, that was my step-by-step -step, super easy instruction. Um, I'm going to just show you one more thing and then, um, that's it. So one other thing that I sometimes match you to, if you don't choose just a basic color match is an illuminator. An illuminator is either, you're either going to have a cream or a powder suggestion, but it's just going to give you like an extra glow, okay? So I'm gonna tap this on the tops of my cheekbones. This is so good for mature skin and dry skin. Um, it just gives you like a little bit extra dewiness and it does kind of reflect texture away. So if you struggle with like a lot of like texture or you're worried about texture on your cheeks, a lot of times like a cream illuminator is gonna be really pretty for that. So I'm putting it on the tip of my nose and that's just because it'll draw it to a point, which that's what I want. I want it to be more pointed. The tops of my cheekbones, that way when, when I'm far away, look at this. My cheekbones look really lifted and pretty and prominent. And then you can put the illuminator on your cupid's bow right here because our cupid's bow is gorgeous. I don't know why the trend is to overdraw, like draw over the cupid's bow. I think cupid's bows are so pretty. I don't know why that is a thing. So I'm just putting it right here and it'll just like accentuate this. Um, some people put a little bit on their chin. Just honestly depends on what their preference is. But those are the main things to use. There's also eyeshadow, which I have lots of eyeshadow tutorials like in my um, beauty group. But there you guys go. Isn't that so fun? so easy so stunning i like the look of makeup so i like that it looks like i wear makeup but you can use such a lighter hand than me and make it look like you're wearing nothing so okay if you guys want any matches any of the products um the extra products they use just say match 29 and i'll see you guys later hopefully that was helpful if i can exit out of that